everyone, my name is Emmy Klein, resident artist here at Jerry's Artorama, and today I wanted to talk to you about how and why to varnish with Instavar. So let's start with why to varnish. Very simply put, it protects your oil and acrylic paintings. It's crystal clear and non-yellowing over time, and as soon as you add it to your paintings, it adds that depth and pop of color that makes all of your colors look more saturated. You never really know what life is gonna throw at your paintings, whether it can be smoke damage, or a spill from a really excited child, or even just everyday dust, but Instavar is gonna make sure that your paintings are protected. It's easily cleaned, and it's going to stay that way for future generations to enjoy. So let's talk about when your paintings can be varnished. Most varnishes on the market have to be applied when your painting is fully cured. Now, with oil paintings, that could be six months to two years down the road, depending on how thick you paint. Instavar, however, can be applied as soon as your painting is touch dry. So now let's talk about how to varnish and let's go over the tools you're gonna need to do so. So first you're gonna wanna have a dry cotton rag and then also a really soft bristle brush and the softness of that bristle is what's really important so that you don't damage your painting when you're removing dust. Then you're gonna wanna have a varnish brush and that is also very important that the bristles are soft but they're gonna have more of that snap to them that allows you to apply the varnish evenly. Of course you're gonna need your Instavar and a shallow dish to pour it into. So first step is to make sure that it is touch dry and clean. You wanna make sure you get all the dust off the surface, so use the soft brush to flick this dust off, or you can use the soft cotton rag with a little bit of water just to buff it to where it doesn't damage your surface. Once that's dry, pour your varnish into a dish and not directly onto your painting. That is going to ensure that you don't put too much varnish on your painting. You're going to want to dip the ends of your bristles into the varnish just to soak up a little bit, then apply the varnish from one end of the painting to the other with using as few brush strokes as possible, while not scrubbing because that will introduce bubbles that you don't want, and you also don't want to leave behind any puddles of varnish. Now, if you see any hair or dust fuzz, you want to make sure that you remove that right away so it doesn't fuse into your varnish layer. Now, once you have a good layer of varnish on, you're going to want your painting to sit on a stable surface away from kids and pets for 24 hours to cure. Then when it's dry, you can apply the second coat in exactly the same way, but you're gonna wanna brush in the opposite direction to avoid prominent brush strokes. Allow that to cure for 24 hours again, and now your painting is fully varnished. So when the time comes when you have a painting and the varnish needs to be removed, it can easily be done with Studio Solve. All you need to do is saturate your rag or cotton swab with the Studio Solve, rub the surface very lightly in circular motions, and then wipe it off with a separate clean dry rag to make sure that you've removed all of the varnish and solvent. So now that all of the varnish is removed from my painting, I can reapply a new layer of varnish for a new layer of protection. Uh, and that is how and why to varnish.